I'm here in the Okanagan and I'm with my boyfriend TJ and we've been so lucky to be invited to these beautiful vineyards to film a little bit for them and show you guys the backstory to their beautiful wines that of course we taste at home in our favorite restaurants. So come along with us for an inside look to these beautiful wineries and yeah, let's go. Okay, we're here at Scorch Earth Winery, as you see with those beautiful drone shots that we had earlier. Gorgeous property. We're in the Okanagan, and I'm here with Peter. So Peter's the proprietor and the winemaker at Scorched Earth, which is amazing. Thank you very much for having me, by the way. Thanks for coming. No I problem. appreciate that. My pleasure. So this is a relatively new winery, and uh, I think that's interesting because I just did a video about how hard it is to start with the vineyard and kind of the time it takes to get going. But tell me about that. Tell me about the process and what the challenges were, maybe a bit of your process of getting going and getting that winery going and getting, the, getting this property started. Yeah, yeah so he put that one on. Anyway, so he and I okay. can And we are off to our second winery of the day. Where are we going, babe? We are going to the Little Engine. It's on the Naramata bench. It's about an hour and a half with traffic from where we are right now. They make some absolutely stunning wines. Beautiful property. I can't wait to get there. Woo! Let's show you. Your destination is on the left. Back out in the vineyard, we just had a wonderful interview with Stephen French, the proprietor of Little Engine Wine, and he left us with a splash of something called Unity. It's quite special. It is a blend of Semio and Sauvignon Blanc. Yes, I did say blend, I didn't say special, because blends can be special. I know a lot of people think that it has to be single varietal, which is crazy and insane. Some of the best wines in the world are blends, and this is exactly that. It is a beautiful wine. It's perfect for this time of year. It's perfect for food. It's a great partner. And it's a wine that we don't get a lot of. They don't make very much of. So I always appreciate it when somebody gives me something special. I love it, of course. That's what I do. That's what I love. And that's what I try to bring to you. And that's what this is. So thank you, Stephen, for an amazing interview. Thank you for the time. Thank you for letting us be in the vineyard. And thank you for the wine, of course, as always. Okanagan, absolutely gorgeous. We have four hours to get home. We're gonna, you know, put some podcasts on, play some music, and enjoy oh, our nice, beautiful scenery on the way home. And we'll probably be home by what, 10:30 tonight? Something like that. And if we're, we're lucky. Edit and you know, the whole, the whole shebang. The way it goes. Get to see my little Mo. Amazing weekend. One Always for the books. Best. One for the books. Yet another one for the books. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys later. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. See you next time. Ciao.